everybody. John here from Mom Miniatures Great and Small, and I've got Jake in the studio with me, and today we're going to be playing some Flames of War. So this is going to be uh, version 4. We're using the Armies of Late War book. It's the generic Late War book that has had kind of a mixed reception, I think, in the Flames of War community. Um, and I totally agree with those who say it's not quite as flavorful. You can't build everything you can out of normal version 3 books. Yeah. Um, and not everything is in there. As an American player, I'm quite sad that there's no Jumbo and no uh, Easy 8. That is really sad. <laughs> it's very sad, particularly when you see what we're going to be playing here. Um, but it is nice in that it has uh, cards associated with it. They, we have the nice cards to play with, and it's all in one book, and it's kind of a generic list. So what we're doing here is just kind of throwing down and having a fun game. Um, just the way we built our armies, it's probably happening very late war, uh, but it's just in how we built and themed our armies by talking to each other. So I think we're going to have fun, but this battle is really um, really to have some, some fun. Jake, you're taking... Tigers. Yeah, like every tiger. Yeah, every type of tiger. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> We've got regular tigers, king and yog. Yep. All right, yep. and I'm taking Shermans. As many Shermans as I'm allowed to take with, with this book. So it'll be interesting to see, the, the mission is going to be, I forget which one it is, we'll, we'll show you when we, we set up and come back to that, but um, it'll be interesting to see if I can match the overwhelming firepower of the Germans. Now in some cases I think you might have too much firepower, like you're shooting at Shermans, front armor 6 or 7. Yeah, uh, so, yeah some are going to go through pretty easily. <laughs> yeah, which is nice, you, you won't have to make an armor roll. But well, you're all veteran, right? I'm all, well, yeah, the equivalent, pretty Most, much. Yeah, so I think so. I've yeah. got to hit you first. <laughs> <laughs> and I do have smoke and the ability to shoot smoke, so yeah. we'll see. Um, but uh, So either way, it's going to be fun. And this is one of the great ways you can play Flames of War. It's just like we decided to do a tank battle. We just wanted to play with the tanks. Um, and Armies of Late War lets you do that pretty easily without too much muss and fuss of deciding which themed source book to use. We're just going with what we have. All right, so um, do you have any predictions, Jake? Who's going to win? Um, I don't know. Those, honestly, the scariest thing is the half-track mortars because <laughs> of the smoke. <laughs> oh, the smoke bomb yeah. yeah, but they only get one in this version. Um, so, yeah, but all my Shermans can shoot smoke. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of nice. Yeah. So we'll see. I, yeah, I live or die by getting into knife fighting range with the Tigers. Um, now the the super Persian gives me some standoff, but I still don't think the super Persian can hurt your king tiger. What's the front armor of a super Persian? No, oh, it's like thirteen or fourteen. Okay, so I can kill you with the king tiger. You can, <laughs> or the yog tiger. All right, so we're gonna go and uh, show you the armies, army description next, and then uh, we'll set up the board and start the game. All right, everyone. So here we have um, eighteen hundred and fifteen points of Germans. Uh, what book are we doing this out of? Forces of Late War. That's right, the generic Forces of Late War book. Um, so we have in the HQ um, two King Tigers, uh, one unit of three Tigers, and a King Tiger, and that is all within the formation. And then the support is our um, Yog Tiger because he looks awesome. And yeah, that's all we're taking this time, just doing a fun Tiger list because I never get to play with all these models, especially at once. <laughs> all right, here is my U.S. Uh, M4 Sherman Company out of version 4 Forces of Late War. I've got a uh, upgraded uh, Sherman M4 to a 76 as my company HQ. And then I have uh, three platoons of Sherman tanks. I've got uh, this one here with two upgraded with two 76s and two regular M4 Shermans. Um, three Shermans, one Sherman 76, two Shermans, two Sherman 76s. And then I also have a Super Pershing to counter some of Jake's heavy hitters and the ever popular uh, M4 81 millimeter armored mortar half tracks. And that is, I forget how many points, 11810, I believe. Yeah. So uh, that's the US force. All right, we are set up. And the uh, mission we are playing today is Bridgehead. Uh, we rolled off and uh, Jake is the attacker and I am the defender. The way that Bridgehead works is, as the defender, I have a 
basically a square rectangle here and there are two objectives that Jake placed here. Those are the ones he's going to be going after. Um, I got to place three minefields. So I've got one there, one there, one there. Minefields are within two inches of the, uh, the token there so it's like four inches wide. And then I deployed first with everything except one unit and ambush Jake and that unit is my super purging. Yep. So I want to keep you honest with your your uh, your tanks there because they're kind of scary. Um, deployment wise so then and then my penalty is I, it's fighting withdraw or it's uh, what is that rule called? Strategic withdraw. Strategic withdraw. So that means starting on about turn three uh, depending on how many units I have left alive on the table I'm just gonna start pulling them. So the idea is I'm holding this area for a while but then slowly falling back in the face of the Germans uh, while still trying to keep you from getting the objective before the end of the game. Alright so for deployment Jake saw my minefields on this side so he is pretty much stacked over there so Jake you want to point out what you've, you've got over here? Uh, yep this is the unit of just three tigers, the company commander and two IC and then the king tiger and yard tiger. Ooh that's a lot of points in that one little spot. Yes. Why didn't I bring airplanes? <laughs> and then over here I've got a platoon uh, with the 276's here, another platoon uh, with 176 here. I know that's an easy 8 model but it's really just a regular old 76. Another platoon with 276's here, the company commander who is also in a 76, and my mortars are on the table for uh, smoke support. Only this guy's close enough to actually see through, uh, the other ones are kind of a little bit further back. And then, of course, Super Pershing right over there. He's he's waiting in the wings. He's somewhere on the table, Jake. Somewhere on the table. He's he's basically 275 points just to mess with your mind. Pretty sure he's right there, or like right there. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe he is. But let's find out. All right, so it's going to be first turn Germans. Uh, there's no roll off, and we'll get to that in just a minute. All right, so we are doing some orders. So this Yog Tiger is going to blitz. Right, you need a three up for that. Yes. No. He does he not blitz. blitz. Next, anyone else blitzing? Um, yeah, why not? He'll blitz too. Okay, and uh, he gets blitz on a two plus. Oh so, no! We're doing great. We're doing <laughs> all right, so all good right, so all right. These guys. And they blitz. <laughs> two plus and a two plus for the. Wow. Uh, that's four ones in a row. Right, well, <laughs> this is going to be an interesting game. Yog Tiger. Okay, uh, because I failed so many things, it's actually eights to hit that <laughs> tank. So sixes followed by sixes. All right. nope. No, but at least it's not a one. <laughs> it uh. doesn't matter though. <laughs> and then this guy, same thing. King Tiger. No. Hey, there's the one. Very nice. So All that's right, five so. ones out of six dice so far. I'm glad these guys are paying the fearless <laughs> veteran prices or common veteran prices. All right, and we're moving these tanks through the woods. So we need two pluses on their wide tracks. All right. So this guy. Hey! Yay. <laughs> he made it. And this guy while I'm here. Yay! And just to clarify, uh, Jake forgot to move those guys. They were so well camouflaged, but we just let him move them after the shooting. This platoon of Shermans is going to make uh, some cross checks. If you don't mind, Jake, I'll just roll them all one at a time. Go for it. All right, so uh, these are three plus. We'll just do left to right. So good. No, good, good. All right, so he, of course, the Sherman 76 didn't make it in, but all the other guys. All right, with uh, Jake kind of fumbling his first turn with all of those failed blitzes. Rude. Uh, <laughs> I didn't have too much I wanted to do, so I'm kind of setting up. I know he's going for this objective, so I'm kind of setting up for his approach because he's got to go there to win or shoot me off the table. Either way, he's going to have to come after me. Um, so those guys, uh, blitz, or not blitz, they crossed into the woods, uh, Sherman 76 failed, um, the company commander moved up, these guys moved up, and these guys just kind of sidled over so when those tigers hit the ridge they're not going to be able to pick a guy off on the edge. So that is my turn one and I, I don't have any shooting because my mortars can't see you, so we're going to go to German turn two. We'll try this again. Uh, all right, back to the game of can I roll a two plus? All right, so first off, 
Starting with this Yog Tiger. All right, Yog Tiger. Oh, he was actually that. a three plus. But. Oh yeah, he's a three plus. Yep. All right, so uh, he's going to make a cross check. Over the hedge. Over the hedge. Yes. Four plus. Oh wait, no. Maybe I don't want to do. That. Maybe no. You don't want to risk a four plus. Well, no, because if I fail it, I'll hit the wall and then I'll be flat, and you can easily drive around and shoot my side. Maybe. Can Would I, I do that? Can I go in sideways? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't, you can't sidle over the hedge. But I don't want to go. So with Jake's blitz, we'll he's go. moving his Yog Tiger there, yep. and he's not moving this this turn then. Or he hasn't moved yet, he's staying there. Correct. All right, so cross check for, or sorry, blitz, blitz for, for your King Tiger. King Tiger, yeah. Two plus? Yes. Uh, stop. <laughs> oh, I really wanted that, too. It's five ones. Turn, uh, turn two. Wow. You're not even going to be able to cross the hedge delay this turn. Another turn. <laughs> All right. Anyone else going to try to blitz? I'm going to move him. All right. Your HQ unit's going to blitz. Two plus. Hey, Thank they make it. Goodness. No, they got to make a cross check. <laughs> another. So he's good. okay, and the two I see. It's not good for both. Well, not a, not. Oh, okay. Not the cross check into the woods. Good. So, and since they have wide tracks, they're they're successful on a two plus. Although you've shown that, that's not always the best thing. Yeah. And so with their move, they end up there on the hedge. Next, guys. Uh, they're not even going to blitz. They're just going to move up eight inches. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, the Yog Tiger, since he passed his blitz, thankfully, he's getting two shots, um, sixes. All right. And he's going after this tank here. You can see just the tiniest bit. Not just his fender. You have to see it more than the fender to see. But you're not seeing much more than the fender. But it's enough to shoot. Uh, so normally you hit me on a four. Fives for range. Sixes for concealment. Yep. Two shots. Yes! <laughs> Alright, and then it's a 2 plus firepower, I believe, for him. Well, don't you want to know my AT? No, I, I don't care about your it's hand. It's 17. <laughs> so, anti-tank 17, my front armor is 6. And Boom, he is destroyed. <laughs> First blood. Okay, so all these um, tigers can see the butt end of that 76 that uh, bogged down. Um, we're going to start with our best chance, which is our HQ, because he gets to reroll a shot, because he's the head of the formation. Okay. Um, so one shot. Um, you're concealed, and it's long range, so it'll be sixes. Yep. He yeah, makes you it. You right. didn't need the reroll. And that is your front armor still. All right, so I can possibly stop that. Yeah. What are so you, seven? He is a seven, There's eight two. for range. You're anti-tank 13, right? Yeah. All right, so I need a five or six, right? So, so eight plus five is 13, so possible bail. He's so bailed. he's bailed out, and then you've got... I'm just going to do all these four Yeah, together. do those four together. Doesn't really matter. Looking for sixes. Got one more hit. So let's see if I can roll a five or six again. Got it. So he's double bailed. Don't have to roll a firepower. Oh, yeah, you need a firepower. Yeah. Sorry. So he's double bailed. He is now. double bailed. And then the king tiger. Oh, yeah, yeah sorry. You can might not matter. Morale. So morale, I believe it's a four, four. up for these guys. Um, I am within six inches of the company commander for that reroll and the platoon commander. And he stays. So now your king tiger can shoot. Okay, so I now think he, he needs, needs seven. Seven, because right. Because he failed his... Um, he failed his blitz. Thing, yeah. So six, no. All right. So uh, not six. too bad. You, bail, or you destroyed one and you bailed out my 76, but didn't make him run. Yeah, you rolled two fives. Two fives <laughs> for my armor saves. This is good. So... Uh, that's it for the German turn, so it's going to be on to U.S. turn two. All right, first up on my turn, that guy's going to try to um, bail back in. Okay, so not too much movement uh, for me. Really, these guys came around behind these woods. Uh, the commander's going to stay. Those guys are staying. These guys are staying. So that's going to be no shooting. So that's going to be German turn three. Okay, I choose to blitz All this right. unit. All right, let's see a two plus for them. Okay, next. That's the sixth <laughs> blitz I've failed. Uh, what are you going to do next? I don't know. All right, we're blitzing this Yog Tiger. All right, that's a three up. So let's not see. Hey, uh, you made it. Thank you. Gosh. 
All right, we're going to move these three tigers. Um, so cross checks uh, this one first. It's good. I'll just do them all right now. This one fails. Of this course. one. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> well, one made it across. <laughs> hey, he's not moving. No. <laughs> all right, so shooting. So we're going to start with this uh, Yog Tiger over here. Okay. He can see um, that Sherman in the back. This one, this one? That one in the back, yeah. This one. And you can see that one in the front this one? too. Yeah, you can see okay. both of them. So I'm assuming you'd want to target the Sherman 76? Yes. All right. Um, so you're in the open now. So fours go to fives because of long range. Okay. okay. One hit. Fence didn't matter. Okay. And then we'll try to swap it onto the crappy Sherman on a three plus, which we do. Firepower failed out. Two shots from the King Tiger into the 76. All right, so you're going to need... Uh, Sixes followed by fives. Yeah, sevens to hit. You got a six. Yeah. And then you want to go to the next unit. This guy, he gets to re-roll. Woo! Re-rolling the six. No. Nope. Okay, so you need a five, five or six there. Nope. nope. And then the two I see. This guy. Nope. Nope. And then these the guys, they only get one shot each. Yep. Uh! And fives. Oh, no. it's close. All right, and that's it for turn three. Yep. Yeah. All right, so start of American turn three. I'm going to try to um, bail back in on some of these tanks. So this Sherman 76. Nope. And uh, he's going to give him that reroll. We got it. So he is back in his tank, raring to go. Especially since like five tigers just shot at him. And then this guy. For two four, turns. Uh, for two turns. <laughs> no, not as well. Um, and I only think I can give him a reroll once. I think that's a rule. So he's going to stay build up. All right. I, I guess that's not a rule. So he's going to. He is within six here. So we'll try to reroll that. And hit you four, so he gets back in as well. All right, so over here, um, these guys, we're going to try to make a cross check into the woods. And I'll start with this Sherman 76. He fails. Um, and in that case, I'm not going to have this guy go. I wanted both Sherman, Sherman 76s in there to take shots at that tiger. But I think just one, the odds would not be in my favor. So we're going to forego that. This Sherman 76 is now going to try to drive in the woods again. Hey, you made it that time. All right, so uh, I failed my cross check there, so those guys are actually going to stay. They're acting like a good counterbalance against uh, Jake's forces. Uh, he kind of dashed across the road to get behind that building, and then uh, this platoon moved up, and obviously my Sherman 76 finally made it into the woods, setting himself up with a good uh, firing position, but. Otherwise, I don't have any shots until the Germans commit to crossing the, the fence, if they can. That that impervious I would love to. fence, <laughs> <laughs> that hedge is like, I don't know, it's, it's fortified. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's going to be on to German turn four. All right, blitz for the King Tiger. Let's see that two up. He's failed, I think, all of his so far. <laughs> Hey, oh, thank hey, goodness. <laughs> right there. Okay. Any other blitzes? Um, yes. Uh, the tigers. All right. <laughs> it's just it's just gonna happen now. I just uh, any any more blitzes? I've made peace with these it. two. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Let's see that two up. Is oh. he going to do it? I don't want to tuck you into it. If, if you want to stay behind the fence for another turn. Or stay behind that hedge. Yeah, might as well. Why not? Okay. Actually, no. We're not no? Going to. We're, just, we're just going to move. <laughs> okay. Jake's going right. to go for it. Moving this tank. All right, let's see two up. Oh, no. <laughs> 
Why? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done over there. Right, so you're not going to go with his buddy? No. You don't want to drive him out? Okay. No, right, well, everyone's right. just staying there. All right, next. Uh, anyone else moving? No, they're just going to stay there. <laughs> All right, uh, German shooting. All right, the four. Jagd Tiger is shooting at the 76 behind the blue building. This one, there, I obviously get concealment. Yes. So you're going to need uh, Six. sixes. No. No, oh, okay. Uh, this King Tiger is shooting at the side of this table. I want to check to see, you might be just within 16 there. Uh, yes, we are. So, fives. Yep, yeah, still concealed, but... Oh, no. <laughs> the one chance. <laughs> All right. Um, these two are shooting at this Sherman. Right they here. can see the front of that, that yeah. guy, just the regular Sherman. All right. Yeah. So they did not move, so that's four shots. Um, so this guy, he's rerolling his. That's your company commander, and that's yep. why he gets to reroll. Exactly. And you're looking for sixes. You got one. So you got one. Just the one. So my, um, that's just a normal Sherman. So roll a six. No, I can't do it. Oh, yeah, my six goes to seven, so I need a six to equal. Oh. Dropped I don't count. Let's see that six. No. So go firepower to destroy. Got him. Yay, we killed something. <laughs> All right, so that's it for German turn four, or American turn four. I've got to, now with the number of units I have on the board, I've got to remove one per the uh, strategic withdrawal. So I think, I don't want to. I could either pull these guys. Or I could pull this platoon, but that's two Sherman 76s. But if they take one more loss, they're testing and they're they're pretty much gone anyway. So that's that's a hard choice. So that's two out of the six uh, Sherman 76s I had on this list. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Eh, let's go with these guys. These guys will withdraw. All right, uh, so the start of my movement phase, this Sherman 76, I'm going to try to um, get him into the woods again. So let's do that cross check on a three plus. We got it. And basically, he's just going to move in so he can get a shot at that tiger while staying out of uh, line of sight of those tigers. And then this one is going to try to do the same. He does. And... We're going to move one in. We're going to try this guy. We got it. <clears throat> and he can act as a wound maybe if uh, you start shooting at those guys again. And then him, I think I, I like where he is. All right, so I'm done with movement. Uh, those guys are staying there. I think those guys are in a good place to counter anything that comes over the hedge. He's going to have to keep those guys in mind. Um, I did move those two Sherman 76s. Uh, they dashed up the road. They're all cowering behind this one building. Thank goodness it can prevent uh, the tiger from shooting at him. And then uh, these guys obviously I moved into the woods. So on to the shooting phase. I think this is the first shooting I've actually Alright, so since this guy was waiting on those guys, he's actually gone to ground. Very, very clever of you. So normally <laughs> I would have needed a six. They're hit on fours. Uh, fives for the woods. Six because I have to use stabilizers. And seven because um, yeah, you're gone to ground. Yep. If I had moved closer, if I'd moved within two inches of him, I could have removed his gone to ground, done the same shooting hitting you on sixes, but in the next turn, if I'm within two inches of the edge, well, a lot of tigers would be able to shoot at me yeah. next turn. Um, <clears throat> now, that would be a thought, though, too. Do I move up? Well, I can't now, but if I would have moved up, you would have stayed there another turn just so you would have shot rate of fire and... This scenario is all about you getting to, let's be honest, this objective by turn eight before you can to yeah. win. I would have still stayed still and shot him all right. like It's almost done. Of course, I can always count on you rolling another one over there. All right, so here we go. I'm looking for a six followed by a five or six, right, Jake? For yes. seven? Okay. So we got nothing. And this guy um, can't hurt you from the front. Oh, yeah, he could. Right, your front armor nine, right? Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> the regular Sherman 76 with a less powerful gun is gonna do the same thing, and nothing there as well. And that's all the shooting for me, so that's gonna go to German turn five. You're running at a time.
We're entering the phase where Jake tries not to roll a one. Mom, All right, you can do this. You're I'm due. I'm like a 90% failure. Yeah, right? you're due. All right, so who are you doing first? This unit. That unit. You know. All right, so we need a two just up. make it once. I like to say every time I say you need a two up. Just, just don't roll a one, man. Please don't. You, you got this. I just, you got it. You got it. Hey! <laughs> of course, they need their cross checks. Now. I don't care. They made it this far. All right, so they can blitz. Yes. They can. Uh, so you need a like two a plus to cross check. Yes. That guy. Hey! He makes it. All right, and this guy's gonna follow. Kay. He makes it. Everybody, we did it. All right, yeah. so we're just moving these tanks. We're not even blitzing. Yeah, we're not try to blitz. All we're right. Just, we just want to drive. Two up. That's all we want to do. Hey! Oh, we made it. These dice right. are toying with you. And then the commander will follow. No, uh, no he won't. I think the commander could reroll that. <laughs> All right, we're going to move the king tiger over the hedgerow. Over the hedge. Let's yep. see that. Woo! Yay. Wait, is the king tiger overloaded, though? Uh, Does he, he have a cross check of two or three? Oh, no, he's a cross of four. Dang it. Oh, yep. So he probably wouldn't have crossed it. Yeah. <laughs> she probably just drove so it. He Hung up. All right. You do anything with that uh, Yog Tiger, your sniper back there? Uh, yeah, he'll blitz. Okay, let's see that three up for him. No. Okay, so we have my three Tigers um, shooting at this Sherman platoon. Um, he blitzed, and these guys moved, so four shots total. And you're going to target him as your primary target for everybody? Yep. So we're looking for normally fours, fives because of the woods. Yes. Let's see it. Ooh, two. two hits. Nice. So I imagine both of those hits are going on to the 76. Sherman 76s, right? Yes. And they are uh, front armor seven, both of them. So in theory, if I roll a six, I can equal. Yes. So let's see this Sherman 76 and the next Sherman 76. Nope. So we'll go to two firepowers, this guy. Bailed out. And the next guy... Bailed nope. out. Wow. All right. Well done. <laughs> All right. Your 2IC is going to try to pop off one shot at uh, Sherman 76. Yep. He moved one shot looking for that uh, 5. Nope. Not a... Well done, team. Well done. <laughs> this is obviously a late war. This is not the cream of the crop for the German armed forces. All right. Uh, so that is going to be American turn 5, right? I think I might need to withdraw another platoon, so we'll see. Okay, so first off in my turn, um, I didn't have to withdraw anything. I got a withdraw token, so next turn, unless Jake destroys a platoon of mine, I'll have to pull something else. But this turn I don't have to. Um, I did pop my ambush. Uh, the Pershing is here. He's kind of protected by these houses from the, the big scary things. Um, so he can get at least an open shot on that one tiger on the end. And then uh, we're going to go right in and try to actually bail in these tanks that Jake bailed out. And I'm outside of six, so I will not be able to use my uh, commander to, to reroll because the company commander is not within six of the platoon commander. All right, so uh, let's go with this guy. We're looking for a <clears throat> three up to get back in the tank. No, the one next to him? No. Oh, that's going to be bad. Next up, uh, this unit of two Sherman 76s is going to attempt to blitz. So let's see that on a three up. Got it. Next up uh, in this platoon, this guy is going to make a cross check. Let's see that three up cross check. He makes it. I already pre measured this. He's going to do something like that. Actually, he'll go a little bit further. This guy's going to make a cross check. He makes it. And then, uh, sorry, these guys moved with their dash over here. Again, to, to put some heat on that unit. You didn't dash them. Oh, no, dash, blitzed. Yeah, blitzed like, you can't shoot to do that. <laughs> and then the, the company commanders the last guy I really need to worry about, I'm not sure if I want to bring him out to play just yet. Tempting, but we'll see what we can make happen here. If I can make that platoon go away this turn, um, that's, that's going to be really good for me. All right, so All right, I'm going to start with this platoon. So 
This is an interesting choice. Jake and I were kind of talking about which one of these two I should shoot first, because he can only see him. But what I decided to do is fire with these guys first, and since I'm within eight here, I can actually target this guy. And with, with since I'm within eight, he can't use mistaken target to swap it to this guy. Unless I happen to get three hits, then you would have to put one there. But if I get three hits, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> right. All right, so normally I hit you on fours, fives because of stabilizers. Uh, all four shots are targeting this guy. All right, so we got two hits. And we're going to put both of those there. Jake, that's AT. 13 versus your front armor of 9. Okay, so, so this guy. Let's see a 4. Failed oh, it. Ten, and bounce. So this guy. So this one goes away, you bounce that one, and then let's see a 3 up for that guy. We got him. So the platoon commander is dead, but he can jump to another tank. No problem. Next up, the um, Pershing is going to be firing at that tiger. I need 5s because of long range in the open. Let's see that. 5. Oh, we got one hit. And uh, I'll double check the AT on that. Why don't you roll a, like an armor save? Are you? It's something like that. Yeah. Let's see if it's even close. We'll go check it. No. Nope, so that's not. a pen. And I think it's a three plus. And we, that's going to be a <laughs> bailed no matter what. So he's bailed out, which is usually not a big deal for tigers. I think you get back in on a two plus. Do well, see how many ones <laughs> I'm rolling this game. <laughs> All right. So these two Shermans are going to go. I really, uh, you know, I could try to shoot him. I'd hit him on a five. Or I could hit these guys on a six. I think I'm going to go here. I really want this platoon to go away. So it's going to be four shots. I have to use stabilizers. Um, so let's see what I can do. So I'm targeting this guy, needing sixes. And we got nothing. I think that's it, except I'm going to try to scoot and shoot with the, this guy. All right, so the start of uh, Jake's turn six, it's getting down to it. So, yep. um, I, I mean, I wanted to do more. This is okay, I guess. Um, so here's what Jake has to do at the start of his turn. He's got to bail this guy back in on a three plus. Let's see what you get. Woo, okay, so he's back in. So that's good. Or else that platoon would have had a check. Uh, uh, platoon check. Yeah. So that's on to uh, German movement. All right. So we're blitzing with the King Tiger. <laughs> All right. Mm. You're very brave. Two up. <laughs> that has probably lost me the game. Quite honest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at the time you've got to get to this objective. Yeah. I mean, that objective is way doing too far. A cross. So a cross check. This time on a four plus. Yep. Hey, there you go. He just doesn't like being told to blitz. Or do much really. <laughs> so he can, uh, yeah. All right, let's see. Yog Tiger. Cross check. Cross check. Four, Four plus. <laughs> hey, hey, he makes it. Look at us knowing how to drive. <laughs> you finally found the weak spot in that hedge, apparently. Yes, I think so. All right, so recap your movement, Jake. Okay, so, um, right, everyone made it across. Yeah. They're staying where they are so that we can get full shots. On those guys. Yep, I just slid him over. I didn't want to risk the blitz because I know I'll fail it. So, and yeah, he's getting re-rolling shots, you needed to so move I want him. fire to hit them. Yeah, you needed to move him out of the way so the company commander can shoot at those uh, Shermans. Yep, gotcha. All right. Exactly. All right, so that's movement. Let's go straight into shooting, shall we? Yes. So, um, I'm going to shoot four shots into these into this group. All right. So, you're just hitting on fours? Yep, just the fours. You Only got one. one. All right. Doesn't really matter which one you have preference. Uh, the one closer to me. That one gets the hit? Yeah. Alright, so let's see a six. No, firepower. Come on. Three the up. first one for the Tigers would be nice. <laughs> nope. No, no. They've failed so many. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, these two are shooting the Shermans. So the one with rerolls, do that right. first. So you're going to point his turret at them. Yep. Just so. Just like the other ones. Yeah. Just in case those guys pop out, they might be able to hit you on the side. Yeah. All right, so you're hitting me on uh, fours because you're right on the hedge. I'm in the open. And you get to re-roll these. Yes. So you got one hit so far and two hits. And then let's see. Um, fire that's, powers. Uh, yeah, just straight to fire powers. Let's so go. This guy first. The platoon commander. Failed, failed out. It. Failed it. Well two done. Bailed. So, <laughs> no, but right now, these guys are all bailed out. Do you want to get his one shot? Yep. All right, let's see it. Four up. Hits. Okay. Double, Double bail. So Gosh. let me see one of these. Um, I need a four up for that 
double barrel tank to stick around. He sticks. Okay, um, so these two are going to shoot at the 76, so we'll do the... Um, uh, and the reason first. why, just in case people know, is he's within two of the edge of the woods, so he counts as being visible, even though he's not up on that edge. Yeah. All right, so who are you shooting first? The Yog Tiger. Yog Tiger, one shot, looking for six. Nope. nope. And King Tiger. Looking for it. Nope. nope. Is that it for shooting? Yep, all done. All right, any more? Uh, no, no more scoot and shoots. Oh, actually, uh, they're going to do, and they're going to... No, they can try a scoot and shoot. Scoot and shoot. Three. So they make it. All right, so at start of American turn seven, right? Yes. Yep. No, six. Six, turn six. I've got to um, withdraw one platoon. So my choices are these two, that unit of four, or something else. Now, if I pull these guys, these guys are in a great position. If they stick around, they, they could really hurt that tiger over there. Same thing with these guys, if they stick around, but every single tank is bailed out, so I need at least two of these tanks to get back in for them not to run. Same thing here, I need one of these two, this one to get back in to keep these guys from testing. So I think I'm going to risk it. So you ready, Jake? Okay. I'm not going to pull either one of those. I'm going to pull this oh, platoon. Man. There's a lot riding on There's this. a lot riding. So these guys drive away. Since they are in good spirits, you, you don't get victory points for these when they drive off in good spirits. They don't count as destroyed. I'm not really in this for the victory <laughs> points. <laughs> no, no, you're just for the death and destruction. Yes. <laughs> All right. So um, now let's. Here we go. This is the. This is the. <laughs> this is why we're oh, here, man. folks. This is. All right. So <laughs> we're going to try to bail back in on a four plus. Let's see it. Whew. Yes. Whew. Whew. Okay. Over here. Do you want to point, Jake, and I'll I'll roll. Sure. All right. So that guy we're looking for. Uh, four plus, no. Four plus, no. Oh, no. Four plus, no. Four plus, yes. <laughs> so this platoon needs a test now. Please fail it. <laughs> Please fail it. They stick around on a four plus. Yes, oh, yes they do. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I would have preferred to have more tanks active, but uh, yeah, we'll take what we can get. All right, this Sherman uh, 76, we're going to go for a cross check, Jake. Let's see that three up. Whew, okay. So he's going to end up, he's got ten in here, so he's going to end up there within two of that King Tiger. All right, we're going to go for Broke, the company commander. He's going to try to drive into the woods here to get up there next to his buddy. Uh, so we're going to make a cross check. We need a three, so let's see another three. Whew, we just get it. So he's going to end up right where the die is and tuck in for some side shots there. And then for my right. last move, this guy's coming out to be able to draw a bead there and uh, over there theoretically. Um, all right, so let's start. We are going to go here four shots into this guy. They didn't move. Hitting on fours. Okay. Let's see it. We got one hit. That's all you need. So there you go. All right, save. Let's see, I think you need a four up. Nope. Nope. Firepower, three up. No, bailed out. Yet again. Okay, we'll quickly go here, one shot. Um, can you check real quick, Jake, see if that's long range? Yeah. Yes. All right. So I think I'm going to need, uh, you're concealed by the woods, so I think I'm going to need a six. No, so close. All right, here, here we go. We'll start with uh, the regular Sherman 76 right there. Two shots. He's going to go into the King Tiger, and uh, he is looking for, wait, his gun's AT-16? Yeah. And his gun's AT-17. 17. All right, he'll put his two shots into the Yog Tiger. Okay. Looking for four or fives because I have to use stabilizers. We got one. So that's 13 versus your side of eight, Jake. Yeah. Let's see it. So 13, eight, you equaled you. it. Yep. So let's see, three up. No, you're fine. Okay, company commander is going to do the same thing. 
Okay. Into the Yog Tiger. Whoa. No. Oh, the poor company and commander. And my company commander can't re-roll unlike your fancy company commander. Why is that? Uh, is because I'm not a, just a tiger German ace. Thing? Yeah, no. it's a tiger ace. Thing. No, it's an ace skill. Yep. All right, so that's it for uh, American turn six. So we're going into German turn seven. All right, start of turn seven. You're going to get back in. Get back in on a three up. No. no. All right, so, so see if they squad leave. check on a four up. They, they leave. Do. All right, so that tank's destroyed and that tank drives off. That is, that's really big. Yep. And then we'll let Jake think about uh, his movement phase now. All right, so we are going to blitz the King Tiger first. All right, so uh, I think he does a two up. Yep. Hey, hey. he did it. All right, so with that, we are going to uh -oh. just put him like so. Okay. All right, and then the um, Yog Tiger is going to blitz as well. Okay. No. Uh, <laughs> come on. All right, so that's it for German movement. These guys stay put to hopefully try to deal with some of this. All right, where are you going to start with your shooting, Jake? All right, so we're going to go right here. Okay. Um, the first thing I want to do, actually, is shoot the King Tiger into these two. Well, those are two separate units. Oh, the, so you got the commander, then. Company commander? Yep. All right. So you're going to hit him on fives. And does the company commander have to join to a platoon near him? Yeah, okay. yeah. So if you get two hits, it'll... So effectively, yeah, be aiming at both. All right, so here we go. Got one hit. One. Um, so you can say... Oh, no, you can't. No, three, not three plus. Sorry. Three plus. Got Yay! Him. So he's, he's dead. Something. Uh, we got to see if he... Um, sur the company commander survives to jump. Okay. I forget if it's one, two, three, or four, five, six. So let's just say... It's higher numbers better. Okay, let's say four up. He, he's, he, he can jump. Yeah. yeah. So he doesn't. Okay, so uh, the two ICs shooting at this 76, while this one is shooting at the Shermans. Okay. All right. Hopefully he can make a firepower. So you need two shots hitting on... Uh, you're going to go with him first? Let's do this one first. All right, so yeah, he gets two shots hitting on fours, yep. re-rolling. Got one. Reroll. Got two. And then All right, fire so firepower. Let's do this guy first. Hey, you got Destroyed. him. And the next guy... Destroyed. All right, Yay. so those two are destroyed. Excellent. And then you got two shots here with a five. Uh, yes. One hit. One. Um, and you can you can save it because you're... Oh, okay. You're yeah, well, so if I get a six... You need a six and then, yeah. No. Firepower. Bailed Bail out. Okay. okay um, I failed a blitz on him, but we're going to shoot at the... Let's see if you're within 16. Super pretty. I don't think so. Oh, yep. Oh, just barely. Okay. So um, you're going to need so fives because you failed. Fives, yeah. yeah. You failed your blitz. No. no. Oh, if you only would have made that blitz. Because of the blitz. <laughs> All right, you scoot and shoots. Uh, yes. So uh, this guy, he does. So um, you can go four. Yes. So we will just. I think we can not touch the woods as we drive there. Okay. And yeah, because then that puts us on the objective. Or no, I guess we're... He's already touching the objective. Okay. So, because I'm scared of this guy still. <laughs> yeah, you could get in and yeah. cause some havoc. I'd rather you at least have to move in order to get a side shot on me. So, we will just do this. Okay. And then you want to scoot and shoot with your uh, HQ platoon? Yes, please. I'd love to move him forward. <laughs> All hey, right, they we do. Can. Let's see if he can drive over the wall. Two up. Hey! hey. He Four inches. He's not going to get far, but at least he's over, finally. He's over the wall. <laughs> and the other guy can move four inches as well. Yes. We will go... over here with our friends. All right, so uh, here, we're going to try to bail back in. I need a, a three up. And he gets back in. And then that guy over there 
he doesn't get back in. Oh, All right, man. here we go. This is huge. Oh, man. Huge. <laughs> yep, yep. You excited? Hell yes. If I fail this platoon check, you win, because I only have one platoon left on the table yep. that, uh, in my core platoon. So let's see that. Oh. Four. Uh, all right, so basically um, he runs and he's destroyed. These guys are the only guys left in my core formation, so I lose. Congratulations, Jake. Good game. Good I only game. took out one of your platoons, so I think it's still an eight- uh, like an 8-1 victory to you because the first platoon doesn't I count. Think so, yeah. That's really nice for a uh, low-density army like this. All right, so we're going to set up for a quick uh, post-game show, and we'll be right back. Well, folks, there you go. It all turned out to be a German victory. Yeah. 8-1, uh, you, you got to the... Well, you didn't get to the objective. Well, you did have the objective. I did. But my company yeah, broke you at broke. the same time. It was so. what? You, you breaking that. So... Uh, boy, but at the beginning you were just, I don't know how many ones you rolled. It took me, I think, five turns to get it across. To get across the hedge, yeah. <laughs> or six if you count the company commanders, right, <laughs> yeah. making it across. So it made the game kind of a slow boil because we knew the fight was going to be around the objective. You just had to get there Yeah. to, to do stuff. So, um, yeah, so what would you say, who would you say your uh, MVP would be in this battle? Oh gosh, I don't know if I have one. <laughs> um, I mean, the... The Yog Tiger killed, I think, two tanks, uh, but ev like my entire army killed those four tanks over there. So, and that was really about all I actually killed. I didn't really kill a whole lot. Well, it wasn't a high count, and this is one of the things I like about Flames of War is um, it's very tactical. Like there wasn't a lot of death. You lost like three tanks, and I lost. Yeah. Uh, you you destroyed about six or seven of mine, but the rest ran away. But um, there was a lot of strategy to maneuvering and stuff like that that's really nice yeah that I kind of miss from 40k you know I I like 8th edition in 40k but sometimes I miss the vehicle facings yeah definitely but uh, and I don't know my MVP would probably be that platoon that um, that was uh, uh, over here the one that made it all the way across the board and we're still there at the end of the yeah, game yeah they, they were do they killed two of the Tigers I'm pretty sure right they killed yeah yeah Maybe they all killed three two. of them well, with the, he made the third one run away. Oh, so. yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, yeah but, so they did well. So I think, uh, for me anyway, the big turning point of the game was, and I could have won, if my two Sherman 76s, the company commander, when I drove into the woods, I made all those cross checks, four shots needing fives, and... Um, no, I, I think you bounced Oh, one. I bounced one, you yeah. You bounced the and one. And you failed the bail. One. Yeah, the firepower for the bail. Um, and Jake correctly pointed out afterwards that if... Um, if I'd have gone after the King Tiger, I could have broken his company. Yeah, you would have won instantly. Yeah. But you also, like, by that time, I was he failed it anyway. Well, that that inside, assumed your so. Tiger platoon would have failed its morale. Which, yeah. Which, which ended up happening. Odds are it shouldn't have, but it did yeah. with the way you were rolling. But apparently that didn't, didn't seem to matter too much for the victory. Yeah, and I couldn't get my... Uh, well, the idea was to have the company commander over next to those Tigers so I could help their morale situation, but he never... He, I like how the company commander was the last one who got over the hedge. <laughs> like, he just could not make it. He was it. just ordering people. Yeah. Yeah, well, on my thought with those two Sherman, I was getting greedy, I guess. I thought one would take out the Yog Tiger, one would take out the, the King Tiger, Yeah. and uh, then I could, could worry about it. But the Yog Tiger was a bigger threat to my Super Pershing yeah. by one any tank, so I wanted to play those odds, but... Turns out it didn't really uh, didn't really matter. So I think you made one little mistake, and that would one. be and it. Well, I guess it may have made it bigger, but getting rid of the Sherman platoon in the woods that were in the middle, because um, as soon as they were gone, I could turn all my front armor facings one direction, and I was most concerned about them because all you need is a blitz out, and then you could have laid out an entire shot on my sides. And yeah, no. They were slowing my advance, too, just because I had to think about them and this side at the same time. Yeah. The only downside with those guys, um, there was only one Sherman 76 in there. Yes. So firing uh, anti-tank 10 at long range side armor 8 is the best I could do is bail you. Yeah, but with a blitz, that's pretty close distance. Yeah. Like, blitz, I think you could easily... and getting out of the woods, maybe. Yeah, 16 or so. So, but, um, it would have been good, but then I would have had even less over here, which could Well, I, what, I think what I would have taken out would actually be the Super Pershing. Now, granted, like we've seen to the end of the game, so like I know what he did, which was nothing. Yeah. Um, and just having this, because all you had to do was slow me down. Like, you could have played the long game and been, it wouldn't have been as fun for sure, but you could have played the long game of holding everybody back, and like you didn't have to rush forward with your company commander. Like, I had to run in here yeah. to get to that. Well, that's the stakes. If that move would have worked, it would have won me the game. And American players, even though I lost this game, American tank companies, you have to be aggressive, even in the... Oh, yeah. Well, with stabilizers, why not? 
Like, it's so good. Such a good roll. Yeah, it is, but also it's, you can't, unlike version 3, you have to use stabilizers. You can't choose to use. Yeah, but in That's version 3, even when you had the choice, you odds no, were almost always in your favor. Yeah. yeah, It's always better, but, yep. So, um, there you go, and I don't know, I mean, I think my minefields cut you off. Maybe I should have had one mine over here, but... Um, yeah, I I didn't go there just because there were two. Like, if you would have had one over here, I probably would have pushed over here. Pushed there. That's, yeah. It was one way or the other. other, but I couldn't do there because you get left me one funnel, <laughs> and that would have been brutal. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're hoping for. So there you go, guys. I know you've been wanting some Flames of War, and we will be having more Flames of War content. Um, this was just kind of a quick, fun game to get something out to you guys. Let us know what you think down uh, in the comments below. I know lots of people have been asking me for Flames of War, and they've been asking me for everything. Uh, Mid-War, Desert, Mid-War, Eastern Front, Late War. No one's asked for Early War yet. But, uh, <laughs> oh, poor and a lot of Team Yankee. <laughs> and I love Early War. I have a great French army. Yeah. It's a huge French army. I love those guys. But anyway, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this again. Please leave a comment below. Uh, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe. Click on that bell so you get a notification whenever we post, see what we're up to. Also, check us out on uh, Facebook at All Miniatures Great and Small. We'd love to hear from you there as well. As always, thanks for watching, and keep on wargaming.